Six years have passed since the events of Wreck-It Ralph. Things have been going smoothly for the video game characters living inside of Litwax Arcade, that is, until the racing wheel on Sugar Rush breaks off. With her game unplugged, Vanellope must travel through the internet with her best friend Ralph to find a replacement part before Sugar Rush gets sold off for scraps and the inhabitants inside are all left homeless. Now no movie is perfect and this one is no different, so let's discuss some of the pros and cons of Ralph Breaks the Internet. Some pros, Ralph and Vanellope. Though the narrative can seem a bit large in scale, Ralph Breaks the Internet really boils down to the relationship between Ralph and Vanellope. The entire journey that the two embark on builds upon their friendship. If you enjoyed the chemistry that Ralph and Vanellope shared in Wreck-It Ralph, then you're going to absolutely love how the two bond together in Ralph Breaks the Internet. Their friendship definitely grows stronger throughout the narrative, but like any relationship, their bond is tested. The result is a truly heartwarming and often heartbreaking film. The voice cast, John C. Riley and Sarah Silverman have excellent chemistry together, which is important seeing as how their characters are the most important characters in the entire movie. They got along so well in the first film, but they riff off of each other extraordinarily well in the sequel. The two of them honestly provide the beating heart to the film's narrative. But other than these two, it's fun to see, or hear, Gal Gadot return to her fast and furious roots as a street racer, Taraji P. Henson is very lively and entertaining, Bill Hader is fun as a shady, yet somehow delightful character named Spamley, even though he isn't listed in the film's credits for some reason. Alan Tudyk even returns to voice a different character, knows more, and having Alan Tudyk in your film is always a plus. The Story Though Ralph may be the titular hero, this movie is also very much about Vanellope von Schweetz. The two characters definitely grow together, but they both have their own individual character journeys. Though Vanellope loves her arcade game, she admits that it has become a bit predictable and monotonous. A new internet game, Slaughter Race, provides her the perfect amount of fresh excitement that she is yearning for so she has to learn how to balance her friends with her own dreams. Ralph, however, is completely content with the way things are, so he has to learn how to accept change and how to not suffocate his own friends. And this leads me to the film's message. I absolutely love the message in Wreck-It Ralph. When Ralph recites the bad guy affirmation in the film's finale, I'm bad, and that's good. I will never be good, and that's not bad. There's no one I'd rather be than me? I can't deny that it gets me a bit teary-eyed every time. The movie is all about accepting oneself, and it plays out brilliantly. Ralph Breaks the Internet takes a step even further and focuses on accepting others for who they are. More importantly, it is a film about overcoming personal insecurities, and that plays out extraordinarily well in the film's finale. The final few moments in this movie is remarkably bittersweet. I know it may sound odd to say something like this about an animated kids movie that focuses on the internet, but Ralph Breaks the Internet can be incredibly profound and moving at times. I was honestly surprised to see how the film had ended and satisfied to know that the filmmakers were bold enough to end the narrative where they did. I'm not sure if a sequel to this movie is guaranteed, so I have to give props to everyone involved for having the balls to end this film on a bittersweet note. It makes the entire movie feel all the more mature, but that doesn't break the film's tone. Ralph Breaks the Internet is a nice, lighthearted movie with a fun sense of self-awareness. It isn't afraid to poke fun at its own studio, often pointing out all of the tropes, cliches, and flaws associated with Disney films. When I first heard that Wreck-It Ralph was going to the internet, I was concerned. I wanted the focus to be more on arcade games and less like something akin to the Emoji Movie. But I understand why the filmmakers involved would want to make a sequel that didn't feel too similar to its predecessor. And thankfully, Ralph Breaks the Internet does capture the same fun and entertaining spirit of the original. Easter Eggs 
Ralph Breaks the Internet is loaded with fun easter eggs. There are so many allusions and pop culture references that it would be impossible to spot them all in a single viewing. The film is littered with tons of obscure references, but the most obvious easter eggs are probably the Disney themed ones. Marvel is shown some love, Star Wars gets some screen time, and oh yes, the Disney princesses get a couple of fun and exciting sequences as well. And I'll never be able to separate the opening crawl theme from Disney princesses from now on. It was also nice to have most of the original voice actors reprising their individual Disney princess, but it was even cooler to hear a song that incorporated every single Disney princess theme tune. Merida probably had my favorite line in the entire movie. But to move into some cons, I wasn't really a fan of any of the new characters. No one is as fleshed out as Ralph or Vanellope. A dangerous street racer named Shank serves as a nice mentor figure to Vanellope, but the other characters don't do all that much. And I may be referring to Yes specifically. Yes exists solely to make Ralph seem hip and cool while he's trending, but her character doesn't seem all that necessary. If she was taken out of the movie, then the narrative wouldn't be all that different. And in a movie with so many characters, the narrative could have been a bit more focused if it got rid of a few unnecessary ones. But on that note, I didn't like how the film handled old characters either. Original characters like Fixit Felix Jr. and Sergeant Tamora return, but their characters are completely lost in the narrative. Felix and Tamora specifically had a B story within Wreck It Ralph, similar to Han and Leia in The Empire Strikes Back, but this film loses sight of their character development altogether. They actually do have an arc in the film, but it just happens off screen for some reason. I'm not sure why the arc was included at all, it has nothing to do with the main storyline, and by the time their characters return in the film's finale, I forgot that they were in the movie at all. And finally, a lack of arcade games. It just saddens me to know that not a single new arcade game or video game was referenced. Or at the very least, I didn't notice any. My love for Wreck-It Ralph has a lot to do with gaming and arcade nostalgia, but there's not a lot to be found in Ralph Breaks the Internet. Mario was referenced in the original movie, and though the filmmakers swore that he would be an integral part of the sequel, he's not even mentioned once. The scale of this new narrative is so large in comparison to its predecessor that I can't help but feel like some of the original charm has been lost. So the pacing is a bit fast, the focus is a bit loose, and I had a hard time trying to figure out the film's timeline. It was still very fun getting to watch Ralph and Vanellope, sometimes literally, break the internet. And I would probably give Ralph Breaks the Internet 3.5 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching.